Hey, what's up guys? This is Chase from The Warehouse. I'm out here in Montreal with the product line manager of Skates for CCM Hockey, J.S. Belanger. Now, I've been skating on your Super Tax for a while now. Um, incredibly stiff, uh, big jump from what you guys have been using. But the thing I noticed most was how well it cups the side of the foot. How were you able to accomplish that? Yeah, the, the Super Tax features the Monoframe 360 technology. That is a technology we've been working on for five years. So it's a five-year project that's finally coming to fruition. And uh, basically what it is is a one-piece boot frame, which changes the way that we're capable of making a skate very, very precise. We're capable of, of really cupping the foot, as you say, um, at, at very precise areas so that the foot contact area with the skate is maximized in every single square inch of the foot. And that's also what I noticed in the heel too, is it was a really anatomical heel lock. Jet speed, great heel lock, but this just felt a little bit different. Can you touch on that? Absolutely. So the fact that we have a one piece boot frame, uh, what that allows us to do is have an asymmetrical anatomical heel lock fit. So what that means is in the same way that your heel bones on, on your body, on my body, on everybody else's body as well, are asymmetrical. Um, that's what we're able to achieve with this skate as well. We have highly precise asymmetrical ankle bones which really lock in the heel naturally yep. into the skate. So as soon as you slip your foot inside, basically you don't even need to tie the skates and yep. you'll feel like your heel's already locked in. Especially when you go ahead and bake them too. Exactly. So uh, let's touch on fit a little bit more too. How would you maybe differentiate this from jet speed and even the tax prior to that? Yeah, so again, that word that keeps coming up is anatomical for yep. us um, just because it is a one-piece boot frame. It's been built from uh, using the science and research that we have from multiple partners, and we're able to get very precise as to how close we want to get to the typical hockey player's foot. So basically, uh, how we would really describe this is an anatomical fit with a medium forefoot and a medium depth. Uh, it really is meant to fit the majority of hockey players. Uh, the prototypical hockey player's foot will fit in a super tax skate. So unless you have a crazy wide feet or a crazy high end step, most likely you're going to be able to fit into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Okay, and let's touch on stiffness too, because that was, like I said in the beginning here, incredibly stiff. I mean, is that through that one piece technology or how are you able to do that? It's a combination of two things. So first is, uh, yes, we are using a one piece boot frame, but secondly, what we're using in this skate is carbon fiber. And that's a really important piece because carbon fiber is a very stiff material. It helps generate a lot of power. It helps with a lot of energy transfer. The thing about carbon fiber though, is that you need to be able to make sure that you use a material that can be heat moldable. And that's what we have here is we have a, a material that's very, very responsive to heat molding. So it wraps perfectly around the player's foot once you heat the skates, and then it stiffens up so get, you get basically the maximum amount of performance, but at the same time to a tailored fit. That's very, very important and very key in the super tax. And very comfortable too. Absolutely. So so uh, what about the outsole? I mean, or lack thereof, I should say. Exactly. So that, that's, a, that's the most important point of this skate is basically uh, we've removed the need for an outsole. That's why we call it a one piece boot frame. And that's why we call the technology Monoframe 360. By removing the outsole, what we're doing is we're creating a seamless platform for energy transfer. As the player skates, as they're performing their strides, there's absolutely nothing interrupting the power that the, pl the player is generating when skating. So a very, very important piece. You're, you're just removing everything that goes between the boot and the outsole and now you have a seamless piece and that's why you basically have a 360 degree fit. Um, you get the fit that fits perfectly around the outside of the foot but now as well underneath and cups around. So that's why we call it 360 degrees. Awesome and it looks like you have the vent on there and that probably works pretty well with the uh, liner in there just to kind of help push the moisture out. It's exactly right. So we have the total dry liner on the inside of the skate mm -hmm. uh, which is a lightweight liner that wicks away moisture very very quickly and then the air vent on the outside here uh, helps generate that 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 um, or helps push the the moisture out of the skate so that your skates feel light at all times right right up until the end of the game. Awesome. And the last thing that I really noticed too was your tongue. Uh, maybe let's go into that a little bit as well because I felt like it was a pretty big change too. Absolutely. So we used a high density seven millimeter felt uh, material, which is a very, very comfortable. You have a stiff boot. You want to have somewhere in the skate to have a little give, to have a little bit of comfort in there. So we, you get that in the front. We also have uh, an, injected, uh, an injected molded piece on the front there to protect from lace bite for those players that have a little bit of a higher instep. Uh, they're, they're protected from the tension of the laces yep. because you have a stiff skate, those, those laces are, are quite tense. So you wanna make sure that you're protected to generate a lot of com comfort. Again, 360 degrees. For sure, I usually have a problem with that and that was something I noticed to help alleviate that. Right. So this looks like I'm a little more traditional boot here. Uh, let's maybe touch on this Ultratex. Yep. So. Obviously, this is a very special year. We're launching two skates. We're launching the Supertax, and we're also launching the Ultratax. 
Now, in a year where we wouldn't have finished the super tax, a five-year project, yeah. the ultra tax is a skate that everybody would be talking about. Um, but this year, again, special year, both skates are being launched. The ultra tax is uh, a skate that features more traditional skate making technology. So you will find an outsole, a carbon composite fiber outsole, of course, uh, but in a more traditional skate making way. So basically, all the top end specs that you can expect out of the best skate um, in, today's, uh, in today's industry. And you'll have the carbon fiber, you'll have the premium blade, the premium holder, premium liner, everything is top notch about it. Just a more traditional uh, skate make making technology. So the Ultratax is a very special skate for us as well this year. And it still looks sharp just like this one as well. And what about fit? How does the fit differ here or are they pretty similar? I, exactly, so what we want is to make sure that the fit that comes from the top skate um, trickles down all the way to the, even our entry level price point. So the technologies that we're using, although are slightly different in the way that we make the skate, yeah. the, uh, the way that we're shaping the skates in order for them to be molded to the player's feet are very, very similar as we work our way down. So you'll, you'll get a similar sensation, a little bit more high precision in the Super Dax, but something great out of the Ultra Tax, as well as when we work our way down the line. Awesome, JS. Well, real excited for you guys. There's gonna be some sick wheels out there. And then for you guys at home, I wanna make sure you check these out. Make sure you go to icewarehouse.com.